What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the stream, welcome to the video. Hope you're all doing well. My name is Justin, otherwise known as Justin Hero. And today, we're back. We're back with Pokemon, finally. I'm back to streaming for a little bit. Hopefully, I'll be getting back on the trend very soon. But uh, we're back in Sword and Shield, and it's time for the Crown Tundra update uh, to be played. And so, yeah, we're gonna head right into it. We're gonna, you know, we got we got a story to find, to follow. The Crown Tundra, you have a crown pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station if you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysterious lurk, mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blank, blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. Cool. So, um, not as long, I guess. Yes, I do have a crown pass, my guys. I would like to go there today. Let's go! Crown Tundra, baby! Let's frickin' do it! Ooh, I'm so pumped. Oh, say what? It was underneath? Yo, that's nuts. What's underneath there? What's underneath there? Yo, this is gonna be so hard. This is gonna be so hard. Who's ready, baby? Because I'm ready! I'm not even that pumped about the legendary Pokemon. I'm more pumped about the freaking... Mm, some of my fucking regular Pokemon. Some of my pseudo-legendaries. This must be your first time to the Crown Tundra. Am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? Sure. Your Pokedex is being updated. Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Alright, let's see what the total number is. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokedex. Okay, lady. So, let's see how many supposed... So, okay, wait a minute. 136 seen. Hold up, hold up. That doesn't really help me. It's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember, and there are so many rockish Pokemon wandering around. And you, sir? Welcome to Pokemon. Ah, I don't need anything here. Alright. Out we go into the world. Ooh, I'm gonna get cold. I'm gonna get real cold. Short sleeves and all, baby. I'm gonna tough it out, though. I'm more about the looks than anything in this game. Unless it tells me I have to change. Come on, Dad. Lay off and quit following me already. Uh-oh. Yo, what the heck? I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. Gah ha ha ha. Don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. This man is nuts. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Great, I've got to say no thanks. Um, well, I probably should talk to you people, so I will. Come on, Naya, be re reasonable or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed. As I unleash the noble roar of dad. Yeah, I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. Hello, hello. Excuse me, hello, yes, you, the boy over there. My dad is stubborn as steel and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Sure, why not? Brilliant, have a great time with this geezer then. Now hold on, lad. Can't say I approve of you bunning blindly, but if I just got, just give you a crutch. Trouncing, this young lady here ought to see reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself, I'm pretty ferocious in battle. I want the smoke, my guy. I want the smoke. 
God dang, dude. Quit smiling. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. Two steel types. Let's go, Lucario. Aren't you the brave one picking a fight with a one-time gym leader? Ooh. Alright, some history there. My guy. Don't you see? I got a hundred level Lucario. Boom. One. Boom. Two. Come on, Lucario. Keep going. Get it four times. Get it four times, Lucario. Four. Hey, Adam, thanks for the sub, brother. Pokemon is back. Oh, God. Oh, God! It's super effective! Doesn't matter. It does not matter. <laughs> no worries, I get you. I appreciate you stopping by to do that, bro. Alright, man. Show me a crown of your Pokemon. Come on now. Come on now. Show me what you got. I forgot to mention that we are playing with my super cool GameCube, GameCube-esque. Ooh, Agron. Uh, Pikachu controller. Agron. Alright. Who do we got that can take care of Agron? I bring out Dragon Bolt for this one. Oh, I should have brought out freaking uh, Marowak. Oh, uh, Dragon Bolt will still do damage. Steel's tough as they come. The more it hits, it takes, the more... Oh, I didn't even be able to read all of it. Alright, Agron. Alright, big guy. Let's hit you with that Hydro Pump, baby! I forgot I put Hydro Pump on Dragon Ball, baby! Boom! Oh, no. Uh oh, oh alright, alright. Giving it some... Some citrus berry, okay. Alright, Dragon Bolt. Alright, Dragon Bolt. Maybe I should have leveled you up a little bit more, but guess what? Hit him with another one. Hit him with another tiger. That away, baby. My Pokemon are unbeatable, brother. Come on now. Teeny, you got nothing on me, son. Dragon Rush. Okay. Um, unfortunately, Dragon Rush has nothing over my other moves. Oh, you only had two Pokemon? Guess it's not my place to be bragging. No, sir, it is not. Look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. I didn't realize you only had two. Hmm. Oh, your daughter ran off, dude. <laughs> my darling daughter's disappeared. Where have you gone, my sweet Naya? Darling da daughter, huh? Are you sure sweet is the word? Darling. Of course. My Nia's the sweetest, darliest daughter a dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip first one in ages and now that we've got here she grabs the first trainer she finds make him a decoy and likes it that's my dear naya for you that's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him is it though that's the type of girl she is ultra mega charming isn't isn't it still without her i can't start this event or of legendary spots I planned for us. She mentions Wayne wanted to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time, which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. Oh, you know I will, sir. By the way, will they follow me right now? Lucario. Uh, all right. I don't know where I should go, what I should do. All I know is I want to find a Beldum, a Gabite, 
a Dratini. One of those, one of those three right now. Show me. Show me the world. Show me the Crown Tundra. No, Jinx, get out of my face. I'm not here for any of you. Let's see if there's a... What's in this one? Den. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Time to hop on the bike and get a move on. We'll find one of those three Pokemon sooner or later. Uh-oh. Hello? Ah, this must be the Max Lair that Nia was talking about. Which means my darling daughter is in there right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Alright, man. Right, just you hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna come right away, because I am still searching. I'm not gonna begin this first one. Yeah. Could go down. I could go down. I'm not going to. We gotta do the we gotta do the story. Nope. What is that? Snom? Alright, Snom. Ooh, cosmic power. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let's head in. Let's head in to the max lair. Uh-oh. Scientist. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Grr. Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Alright, something the matter? Nothing alright, and everything's the matter. The Ultra Mega Numpty of Scientists insists on getting in my way. Numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir? If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... God, I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. We're just going round in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Ah, uh, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together. Uh, Nia? Naya? I don't know which one it is. Right, right. Alright, lady, let's hear it. Are you ready for the- yes, just tell me. Let's go. Alright, alright, explain, explain. Max Lair is a labyrinth underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell the likes of which normally are not found in Gal Galar region. Um, form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to a to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. Ooh. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a max raid battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. To avoid the risk of Galar particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle effects. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rent some particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly <laughs> incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. Still a touch lost, but that's the type of places it is. Right? right, sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on and, and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling. 
Nia! Sir, no, I just told you it's too dangerous. Alright. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down, pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. So we don't get to take our own Pokemon in, because I was thinking I was just going to take Lucario all the way through. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you with Dyna Dynite Ore as a reward. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax? Yes. Yes. There you go. You're still new to Dynamax Adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now, just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you, okay? Um, Dazzling Gleam, Dive, Trick Room, Icy Wind, Psychic, Rain Dance, Air Slash, Flash Cannon, Focus Punch, Shadow Punch, Scorching Sand, Safeguard. <laughs> All right, not a bad team, but also. Right, so strong water type reaction. Fairy type. Um. All right, so we have someone that's gonna be super weak to electric. So let's just go to the fairy type. Let's see what this is all about, people. I can't believe it doesn't let you take your own. a normal type, right? I feel like normal type's probably the easiest. Man, my guy is styling and profiling, baby! We need some new gear. We need some new gear, though. A uh, ditto? That's gonna be easy. Dancing for my guy. Why? Uh, 
Ooh, if I take Ditto and we get to the we get to the to the legendary, would it become the legendary? That's so. That's not good. Maybe you should have stuck with whatever Pokemon you had before. Shadow Punch. Alright, at least my Pokemon Like, Go Lurk is strong enough to do some damage. Alright, Magmar. Ooh, am I gonna be able to do enough damage? See, if it turns into the legendary at the end, that'll be nuts. Ooh, okay. What the hell is that thing all the way over to the left? Alright, so. That's a Flygon. That kind of looks like a Wart Portal. Um. Let's go with the electric type. Oh, it's a Raichu. Okay, I could not really see its tail that well. So I was like kind of on the fence on what it was, but it's a, it's a Raichu, so we're alright. Alright, there we go. So there's no real, um, weak link on our team right now. So, Scorching Sands. Wait a minute. I don't want to Dynamax because I'm afraid that I won't be able to Dynamax in the next battle if I do it, which going up against a legendary. Lord knows we'll need it. Ooh. Oh wait. Is that Raichu not gonna have like our Ditto Raichu? Is it not gonna have anything that actually damage this Raichu. Oh, my, what the hell happened to my Dynamax? I'm confused. I have no clue what's going on in this, in this layer. Layer. So the final, the final one is a water type, so it could be a Kyogre, um, not water type legendary Pokemon. Kyogre is the only one that's coming to my mind right now. It could be like a lower, Lugia? Is Lugia a water type alone though? I think it's Kyogre. Probably makes the most sense. It's Kyogre or it's um, Lugia. What other water legendaries are? Uh, I'm just completely blanking. It's, I'm gonna t I'm gonna catch this Raichu because I think going going into this next battle we need a type advantage that I don't think I'll get go over again I don't need the Raichu uh, but moving forward we'll just 
want to swap. The rising voltage, speed swap, focus blast. Yeah, sure. I'll swap. Alright, who's the legendary? Who is it? I'm saying it's Kyogre. Is it Kyogre? Sweet! He's so cool! Oh, frick yeah! Oh, Suicune. Okay then. See, I thought Suicune was an ice type. But I guess it makes sense since, uh... What's it called? Alright, so it's kind of max, max lightning. Um, it makes sense since Entei and, uh... Entei's a fire type. What's the other one's name? So long. Um, but the other ones are more type. I mean, no. Sweet Coon was uh, Ice type, but it's been so long, and I also don't really use legendary Pokemon all that much. So. Extreme speed, Sweet Coon. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're gonna have to do better than that, buddy. It's gonna be over in three turns. As long as my team isn't dumb. Okay. Okay. Not great. Really not great. Okay. Um, team, we're gonna need to do some more damage than me just doing all the damage. Bada of Alright, maybe it won't be done in three turns. Maybe four. Thank you, Magmar, for at least trying to inflict damage. Ditto, if you could also continue to inflict damage, that would be great. And then Hatterene, or whatever your name is, thank you. Thank you for doing damage. Now, on this next go, we might be actually doing what we actually defeated. Um, hmm. I think we're going to be like a sliver. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Is it not clean up with defense? Go one more round. Why isn't it attacking the magma? With all this water damage. Yep, just a little slower. Help. That's alright. Raichu, hit it with rising. Let's finish this thing and catch it. Alright, what kind of what kind of ball should I use on? Escape from the luxury ball. Luxury for sweet. That's pretty cool. Starting legendary to get off the rip. I wonder if that's what everyone gets. Stay in there, sweet coon. Choose the one Pokemon you like to keep. Oh, Raichu, of course. Yeah, right, get the hell out of here. Hand it over to the Pokemon you rented and the Pokemon you didn't select. Dynite War. Investigate the area, reach the most area, find a very special Pokemon. Indeed, we did. Suicune. Suicune, you're so cool looking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna use you ever, but like, it's cool to know that you're, you're here. <laughs> 